And welcome to DNM Disney News and More, episode 49. Uh, one more episode, right? And then we're doing episode 50. I'm going to be celebrating by doing a live newscast. Uh, last time I did a live show or anything live, even live in the parks, was May the 30th, right? So it's almost been three months since I did a live anything. I'm looking very forward to it. I'm actually going to put the thumbnail. Uh, probably going to be doing it a week and a half from today. Just so I can have enough information uh, for us to, you know, have a lot of interaction. Um, so I invite you to come join me. Have a lot of fun. Have a wonderful time. It's going to be my first live in almost three months. I'm going to put the thumbnail. You can hit the um, reminder so you can get notified. And also, don't forget, if you have not subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can get notified that way as well now you can also find me on tiktok instagram and twitter if you have not checked out my other social media platforms consider so if you like what you see give me a follow okay friends in today's topic last episode episode 48 i showed you a trailer about the new disney movie pinocchio it is premiering on september the 8th in disney plus but the very next day a new trailer came out I love this trailer. Can't wait to show it to you. Stay tuned for that. We're also going to be talking about Magic Kingdom's Tron Light Cycle Run. Uh, there has been an update there as well. I, ha I predicted that this attraction was going to be open by the end of this year. We're getting closer and closer, right? We're already going to go into September and time's running out. But I'm going to hold on to that prediction and we're going to talk about an update there. Uh, we're also going to talk about these Mickey Mini ears that you see pictured here. Uh, very beautiful, but can you afford them? That is the question. Uh, we're also going to talk about the fight and the struggles between Walt Disney World Company and Governor Ron DeSantis, right? He's been trying to do a, a dissolution of the Reedy Creek Improving District. So we'll talk a little bit about that. There's been an update there. Another update that I'm going to talk about is over at Animal Kingdom. Uh, there's another opportunity for meet and greet. Stay tuned for that. And then also, annual pass holders are getting a little bit more of a discount to purchase products. So stay tuned for that. Very, very cool. Very awesome way to save more money. So if you're thinking of buying some merchandise, hold off a little bit. Okay, so stay tuned for that as well. Okay, friends, the very first thing that I want to talk about is the tension that has been going on between Governor Ron DeSantis and the Walt Disney Company. Governor Ron DeSantis and other Florida politicians moved to dissolve the Reedy Creek Improvement District, which is the government body that basically lets Disney World function as its own government. There has been a lot of back and forth, as we know, between Disney, DeSantis, and local taxpayers, and now Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, along with two other state departments, are asking for the lawsuit to be dismissed, which is something that I saw coming, to be honest with you. Now, the Reedy Creek Improvement District is essentially the government of the land where Walt Disney World is located, and it has almost $1 billion in bond obligation. And there was concern over whether that burden will fall on local taxpayers which is definitely something that I don't want, being a local. The motion to dismiss the case says plaintiffs have no legal right to prohibit the state of Florida from dissolving governmental entities created by state law. Now, the original case was also filed in Miami-Dade County, which I don't really understand why. So the motion also mentions that the case should be dismissed since this isn't the proper location for the case or to be transferred to Leon County, where the state capital of Tallahassee is located. The state also said that the dissolution of Reedy Creek District would not infringe on taxpayers' right to do process causing tax increase for local taxpayers, saying, yet no tax increase related to SB4C has been proposed or imposed on plaintiffs. Their complaint utterly fails to identify sufficient ultimate facts showing how the potential 
dissolution of Reedy Creek Improvement District pursuant to state law. Assuming such dissolution were to occur would possibly infringe on the rights of taxpayers. So th that is pretty much what's going on. Um, Governor Ron DeSantis um, said, hey, let's dismiss the case. We're not going to go ahead and not only fight against the Walt Disney Company, but with local taxpayers. And, you know, just leave them alone. Leave Disney alone. Ron DeSantis, if you're watching this, you're probably not. Just leave Disney alone. Let them govern their own, you know, property. Leave us alone, too, because we don't want to take the burden of having to pay taxes for that. All right. So that is what's going on. I expected that to happen, quite frankly. Um, and let's move forward. Okay, friends, I got awesome news for annual pass holders. Uh, the discount for annual pass holders is increasing this fall. It is going from 20% up to 30%. So that is an additional 10% off that you're going to be able to get on some merchandise. Now, this increase is only good for one month, uh, beginning September the 14th, and it's going to run through October the 14th. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so if there is a piece of merchandise that you want to purchase, but you're willing to wait a little bit more, maybe about two weeks more, uh, then wait that period and then get 10% additional from what you're getting right now, right? So it is 30%. That's going to be awesome. Now just keep in mind that uh, merchandise flies off the shelf, right? Especially if it's something, you know, if it's a hot commodity, um, you know, you got people going in the shops buying 10 of them because right now the limit is 10, right? It used to be two not too long ago. Now it's 10. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now the discount will be available in most of the uh, Disney owned stores. Um, so, you know, just make sure that you present an ID, you show them your pass holder card or your phone app, um, you know, proving to them that you are an actual pass holder. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I think it's very cool that they're doing that. Um, hopefully during, you know, September 13th, September 11th, somewhere around there, there is something very cool that I would like to buy and I can take advantage of the additional 10% off. So very, very cool. Again, annual pass holder discounts are going up from 20% to 30% between September the 14th and October the 14th. All right. Just keep that in mind. Save some money. Okay, friends. So speaking of saving money as an annual pass holder, annual pass holders can now save up to 25% on select Disney World Resort hotels, right? For the holiday season. Now, this is going on between October 23rd through December 25th. So, you know, these dates obviously give you the opportunity to enjoy these discounts uh, for example, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then of course, Christmas. Now, one of the great benefits obviously of staying at the resort is that you get early access to purchase individual Lightning Lane entry for up to two attractions each day. Not to mention that you also have the opportunity to take advantage of the extended evening hours. So just keep all that in mind. Uh, it's one of the, you know, some of the benefits, obviously, of staying at a resort. Um, so and obviously there's a way to save money right now. The percentage of saving is based on the resort. So if you want to maximize on that 25 percent off, you do have to stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, for example, uh, uh, Boardwalk Inn, Colorado Springs Resort and so forth and so on. 20 percent if you're staying at Art of Animation Resort, Fort Orleans Resort. You know, you're going to save 20 percent, 15 percent if you're staying at, you know, some of the more, uh, you know, cost effective resorts like uh, All Star Movie Resort, music, sports, uh, Animal Kingdom Villas, so forth and so on. And then, you know, if you are staying at the Disney Pop Century, it's 10 percent. But, you know, anything is anything, right? <laughs> but 10 percent, that's what you're going to get if you're staying at the Disney Pop Century Resort. Uh, so. So, yeah, just keep in mind that it's from. October the 23rd through December the 25th. All right, friends, the next thing that I want to talk about is this uh, pair of tiara ear headbands, right? This is another way of saying mini ears. <laughs> I 
I wish they could just put mini ears, right? They made it nice and fancy. Why? Because the ears are nice and fancy. Now, what's not fancy for me is the price, $600, right? Plus tax. So just add 7% to that. <laughs> and you're going to be paying over $600. But uh, obviously, these are ears that, you know, that you can purchase uh, if you're getting married. They would look great, actually, with a wedding dress, right? A woman nicely dressed, right with the with the mini ears obviously as you can see it has the bow with like the wedding dress um fabric so obviously you can tell this is for being married or when you're getting married but they look awesome very stunning to be honest with you but i wouldn't buy them <laughs> even if i could afford them i wouldn't buy them because i think of you know uh till death do us part so you know if you're gonna be use these to get married right you're probably gonna only use them one time <laughs> i'm just saying but anyway, uh, mini ears, or you can say it the classy way, tiara ears headband, six hundred dollars. Tell me, comment in the in, in the comment section. Would you purchase these? Even if you had the money, would you purchase these? Let me know. Okay, friends. So I spoke in the beginning, right in the intro, uh, with the topics uh, that on episode forty-eight, right, my last uh, news blog. Uh, I spoke. I showed you guys the trailer of Pinocchio. The very next day, this trailer came out, and I absolutely love this trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the eighth wonder of the world. running around loose without a conscience? Can you imagine the trouble he's gonna get into? Wouldn't want that on my conscience. Everybody who's anybody wants to be a somebody. And I wanna be real. Why on earth would you want to be real when you can be famous? Pinocchio <laughs> okay, should have been home by now. like some sort of fairy magic kind of on the nose if you ask me okay friends so this is trailer two of the new movie pinocchio premiering september the 8th on disney plus and the trailer is absolutely amazing the movie is going to be amazing you know we all know tom hanks is a great actor right one of the greatest and uh, this is going to be an amazing movie. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I just can't wait to see this movie. Definitely, definitely worth watching. I'm sure. Okay, friends. So before we begin the segments on the theme parks, uh, let's go ahead and look at the park hours for September. So you know, as you can see here, there's a lot going on with Magic Kingdom, <laughs> and that is because of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, right? But uh, on, uh, you know, the park will be open between 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. on the 12th and the 19th, 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. from the 1st, 3rd, 5th, 6th, 8th, 10th, 14th, so forth and so on. And obviously, you could take a screenshot of this. You could take a photograph so you know what the park hours are. And then you could also obviously always check my Disney Experience app 
but um, it's also going to be open between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on the 2nd, 9th, 11th, 13th, 16th, so forth and so on. And that is because of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So obviously they closed the park early because that event begins at 7 p.m. So just keep that in mind if you're going to Magic Kingdom. You know what to expect as far as park, park hoppers are concerned. Now, over in Epcot, it basically always stays the same. Uh, but, you know, uh, on, in September, it's going to be open from 8.30 a.m. through 9 p.m. But, as I mentioned to you earlier, if you're staying at one of the resorts, you can enjoy the extended evening hours, right? Which is from 9 p.m. Through 11 p.m. And that is going on on the 5th, 12th, 19th, and the 26th, which is on Mondays, right? So if you're staying at a resort and you're going to Epcot on Monday, right? 5th, 12th, 19th, and 26th, you can enjoy the extended evening hours. You know, stay in the park two more hours and just continue to drink, right? That's that's what people do, right? At that time, drink. Now as we go over to hollywood studios it's pretty much 8 30 to 9 p.m <laughs> there they, they don't actually have the extended evening hours over at hollywood studios so it's 8 30 through 9 p.m throughout all september right but in animal kingdom it does change a little bit right uh, between 8 a.m to 7 p.m on the first sixth through the ninth the 12th 16 19 through the 23rd the 26th through the 30th right and then 8 a.m to 8 p.m if you're going there between the 2nd 5th 10th 11 17 18 24 and 25 okay so those are the park hours let's go ahead and jump into the parks now over at magic kingdom something new is going on <laughs> what is that now they're doing test runs at Tron Light Cycle Run with live people, as you can see here. So again, I'm definitely hoping that this attraction is going to be open by the end of the year. They're already putting people on the test, which is awesome. To me, it's super awesome. And then, you know, sometimes when you go over to Magic Kingdom at night, you can see the canopy all lit up, which is awesome i haven't even i've never experienced that like like live i haven't seen it i've only seen videos and i've seen photographs i haven't actually seen the canopy lit up can't wait to see that right one of these days uh, but as you can see here they're doing test runs with live people it's not dummies anymore so that, that is definitely an update that i've been waiting for and that just lets me know that they're getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer so that is awesome all right, friends, so the very next thing I want to talk about is uh, the Mickey Mouse, the main attraction collection series, right? Collection sets. And uh, one of the sets that they just came out with is this Dumbo collection, uh, which I think is absolutely awesome. Very, very beautiful. I love it. Uh, now, I know that uh, you can buy these separately. Um, I think the mini ears, as a matter of fact, I know the mini ears are $34.99. The launch fly is for $85. Uh, if you wanted to buy the Mickey plush doll, it's $34.99. Uh, the pin that you see down there is $24.99. Uh, and then you also have the uh, the Mickey uh, key pin, which is $29.99. You know, but I was thinking it would be awesome if kind of Disney came out with a price for the whole kit. Like you can actually buy the whole kit at a certain price where you're saving money because you're buying the whole kit. Uh, but just, you know, I think that these uh, sets are absolutely beautiful. I love them. I love I love this. The ears. I love the ears. Uh, I love the lounge fly. That is an awesome lounge fly. And I love the I just love the colors. It's super, super cool. I love the uh, the, the 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 key pin, how it has the Dumbo on there. And it also has the, the Mickey you know the mickey ears there and then at the at the key right at the bottom you have the 50 year anniversary uh logo uh with the uh, cinderella castle in the back so i think this is awesome uh set but that's not the only one that they came out with here's the other one uh this one here is featuring big thunder mountain uh so this is cool so again same prices right same prices as the double one uh but this, this i like this one even more 
Uh, I love the ears. It's got the the Big Thunder Mountain silhouette there in the back. Um, I love the hat. So, so cool. Uh, you have the uh, BTM logo there, Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, look at the lounge fly. It has the BTM there. And it also has on the other ear the uh, Big Thunder Mountain silhouette. Uh, I love the key. It's got the BTM and it's got the 50 year anniversary uh, Cinderella Castle in gold. And then look at the pin. The pin is absolutely awesome. Now, I've seen these pins in the past, but I didn't know that they, they you know, they actually had a whole set for it. So it's just it's just so, so cool. So like, for example, if you're a big fan of Dumbo, you can get this whole collection over here. Right. You have I think you, have, you do have to buy them separately. And then if you're a fan of Big Thunder Mountain, like I am, right? This is so cool. I love it. This is so awesome. I didn't know these sets were a thing, to be honest with you. And I'm so glad, I, you know, I came across this. So I thought this would be cool. Especially, I know there's a lot of people that are Big Thunder Mountain fans. So this is a cool, very cool set. All right, friends. And that's all I have for uh, uh, Magic Kingdom. Let's go ahead and jump in. And, and the reason why I brought these two sets is because... The two attractions are in Magic Kingdom, uh, and so that's why they're on that uh, segment, the Magic Kingdom segment. But let's go ahead and jump into Animal Kingdom news. Okay, friends, so over at Animal Kingdom, there is a change coming to the Tusker House restaurant. Uh, the buffet is returning beginning September the 1st. Now, currently, uh, they were offering the family-style menu instead of the buffet. Uh, but you can still get that type of meal right through October the 31st. Uh, but again, beginning September the 1st, you'll be able to go in there and have a buffet type of meal, which is I think is very, very cool. I've never eaten here. Obviously, there is a great opportunity to meet Mickey, Donald and Goofy, have some awesome food, have as much as you want. Right. It's a buffet. So I'm looking very forward, hopefully, going to the Tusker house for the first time. Never been there. So this is awesome. I love it. I, I love the fact that they're bringing some buffets back as well. And just when you thought that everything had already come back, there, you know, you can still see some other stuff coming back, right? And this is one of them. So again, the buffet is returning to the Tusker house beginning September the 1st. And friends, I want to give props or credit where credit is due. These folks here are how I get some of my news and some of the photographs that you see on my newscast. And with that, my friends, the show has come to an end. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Again, if you're not following me on my other social media platforms, I invite you to go there. Check it out. If you like what you see, give me a follow. And also remember that my next episode is going to be a live one. Episode 50. Cannot wait. And I'm going to end this video like I always do. We came, we saw, and we conquered. And do me a favor. Have a wonderful day. Peace.